ex-terrorist spokesperson named as Somalia's new religion minister. On what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was we chose this news because our lovely editor D and also moderator in our live chat D Boudreau sent it sent this to me and with the caption WTF. <laughs> so I was like, we have to talk about this. I mean, the man could have been changed, so I don't want to judge him. Too no, we're going to get into it. Okay. On August 2nd, Somalian Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Bare appointed the former deputy leader and co founder of the Islamist militant group Al Shabaab as the new Minister of Religious Affairs. Uh, Mukhtar Robao, also known as Abu Mansur, co founded Al Shabaab. Al Shabaab has claimed responsibilities for many bombings and suicide attacks. They typically target government officials, African Union, the African Union mission in Somalia, and perceived allies of the federal government of Somalia. Uh, Robao's affiliation with Al Shabaab stirred a discussion on whether it will strengthen the fight against the insurgency or provoke, provoke clan clashes. Apparently, his selection is an attempt to pit him against his former group. His cabinet post will put him in charge of the ideological confrontation against al-Shabaab and challenge their dominance and legitimacy in many regions in Somalia. The political analyst Mohammed uh, Mahmoud said, quote, we, recommend, we welcome his appointment. The move will advance reconciliation and serve as a good example for more high-level al-Shabaab defections. So, like I said, this uh, definitely was an initial WTF moment. Um, but when I was reading into it, it started to make a bit more sense. So he, like I said, he co-founded Al Shabab. He used to, he was directly affiliated with and used to train with Al Qaeda in Afghanistan, and then. Over the years, like at one point, he even had a five million dollar bounty on him by American forces, um, calling for information on his whereabouts. And then around 2013, I believe, um, he basically left Al Shabaab and denounced them. And then he started to get politically involved. And until like very, very recently, he was on house arrest because he was like contending um, the power of another big political figure. Um, like he was he he was challenging the power of the president, but now he has been elected to the cabinet by the prime minister. And yeah, this is like very controversial, but they're, I guess, doing it with the intention of trying to because he has all this authority within the region and he has authority from his previous history with Al-Shabaab. Um, I guess the idea is that that will make him a good religion minister because then he can challenge like the narrative of Al-Shabaab, challenge their legitimacy and um, hopefully signaling that you can be a member of al-shabaab and then leave and still be integrated into society and even get a high level cabinet position could maybe inspire other people high level people in al-shabaab to leave and then switch sides so that seems like kind of the intention behind this um especially since the previous administration of the prime minister basically didn't do anything over the previous three years to fight the al-shabaab insurgency and now there's a new prime minister that just came in they finally had elections that were delayed for a year a lot of violence throughout these elections but it was finally executed most somalians did not even vote in the elections because of all the violence and problems surrounding it but it happened and um people are hoping that this will help them move forward you know, actually, that kind of that makes sense. Um, I think I'm kind of conflicted because it seems based, like yeah, yeah like yeah. But the conflictation causes is from the. Do you know where my source of conflict is? Like because it, it seems pretty. It seems like it makes sense. It's a good message. Um, you know, it seems like it's gonna work. Like it's a, it seems like a good way of trying to address this issue, right? 
my problem is the fact that there is such a thing as religion minister, <laughs> right? The fact, that, <laughs> the fact that this position exists mm -hmm. is my issue. But I mean, the fact, I mean, if it exists, I mean, if you can't do, this seems like it, the best use of that position, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't think mm -hmm. religion minister it makes sense. But yeah. By the way, Qasem and Babak are here. Both Qasem and Babak. Hey, Durud. Yeah, and Babak. Yay. Um, Chitori. Um, um, yeah. I don't know. The headlines really shocked me. I'm like, you're putting someone who trained with Al Qaeda in charge of religion ministry. Like, what kind of results are you gonna get here? <laughs> but. I was reading into it and I'm, it started to make more sense. Um, I don't know what kind of positions he like puts forward nowadays. Like I'm what I'm like, what are your beliefs now? I'm, I'm still have questions. I still have concerns. What are you going to be promoting? I still have concerns, but I, I don't know. A lot of people were actually praising this as a positive thing. Yeah. I guess. Um, by its cover i don't know man <laughs> is this him um wait scroll know. up I, I don't want to play this video because i don't know if it's going to show something that we can't show on youtube anyway yeah, yeah yeah it kind of looks like him i think it might be hmm. um yeah <laughs> yeah pretty bold move like for the people who made this decision they're like i think it was like it's pretty bold and i think it was definitely definitely yeah. yeah d is bringing up a good point a lot of african high positions are held by former rebels like it's easy for people to say like oh my god this person was a terrorist like <laughs> they shouldn't be involved at all but in reality like these are people who hold a lot of authority over major sections of the country that are still not really part of the whole yet so well it's easy for us you know on the other side of the world to be like how could you allow this they have to make the calculation of like how are we actually going to knit this country back together what is it going to take and it is going to take working with people who used to want to rip this country apart um d is saying these former rebels are so corrupt once they gain power there mm. is also a history of that. That is a very good point, D. There is also. Okay. I'm less optimistic now because of you guys in the live chat. Because Bjorn is saying, well. considering the track record of Al Shabaab, I don't see this as a good move. I mean, but people can change. So I don't know. Like, I think, okay, you know what? We're just going to withhold judgment. You know, we don't know. Okay. It might have been, you know, it might be a sick, it might even be a secret plot by Al Shabaab to just take over. You know? <laughs> oh my God. Don't say that. <laughs> No, I was I was serious. Cautiously withholding judgment, but I have concerns. <laughs> like I'm yeah. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> oh, awesome. Look at Kasam is being very <laughs> oh. really much interested. <laughs> being forward today, huh? <laughs> and but like agrees. Light so. me up close. <laughs> Getting real, real close. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.